Do you want to learn how to script on Roblox Studio? Well, you're in the right place. In this beginner scripting series, I'll be guiding you through everything you need to know about scripting. Today, I'll teach you how to use print statements. To make sure you fully understand, I'll split this video into three segments. Firstly, I'll explain what print statements are, why you need to use print statements, and lastly, how to use print statements. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video so you don't miss out on anything. So, what are print statements? Well, basically, print statements is a piece of code that allows you to send messages to the output. In print statements, you can put letters, numbers, symbols, variables, and much more. It really just depends on what your script is doing and what exactly you need to be printed into the output. But as we go further into this series, you understand why print statements are so important and how it can help you with scripting. So this brings me on to my second point. Why exactly would I need to use print statements? Well, print statements can be used for various things such as debugging. And if you don't know what debugging is, it's pretty much trying to fix an error in your code that's not coming in the output as an error. So you can use print statements in a way to find out where your code is going wrong. Also, you can understand what your script is doing, like what information your script is giving out, what the functions are doing, what the if statements are doing, and everything like that. What everything is doing in your script, print statements can be very helpful to understand what your script is doing. Another reason why you'd want to use print statements is to check if your code actually works. So say for example, you don't wanna go ahead and start scripting your code because you're not sure if it works, you can use a print statement instead of writing the whole script and it not working because if it doesn't print you can go ahead and find out the reason why it's not printing and you can fix that before you start scripting so now i've explained what print statements are and why we need to use print statements let me go ahead and show you how to use print statements so as you can see we're in roblox studio your roblox studio will not look as similar to mine because i have the output open and the explorer open so what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you how to open these two because you'll be needing them in this video. So to open the Explorer, you need to come to the top of your screen and press this View tab. Once you press the View tab, it should open this whole section right here. All we need to focus on is the left hand side. As you can see on the far left, this big icon says Explorer. Go ahead and click it and it will open the Explorer with all of these things on the side. And to open the output, it's in a similar place where all these small icons are, and it's the second one. If you hover over it, you'll see it says output. Go ahead and click it, and it should open the output as well. Now, you're probably wondering, what are all of these things on the side? Well, these are the services, which I'm not gonna go into detail in this video because it's not that important just yet. The service we'll need to be focusing on for this video is server script service. Server script service is where you keep most of your server sided scripts. Now, we need to go ahead and insert a script into server script service. How do I go ahead and do that? Well, if you hover over it, you'll see a plus icon. If you click it, it will open all of this stuff right here. All of this stuff down here, you do not need to worry about just yet. The things that we'll be focusing on is the scripts. So go ahead and type in script and it will open these three types of scripts. The script that you want to use in server script service is the script that's just called script. The reason why you don't want to use a local script or a module script is because a local script does not run on the server and a module script isn't a script that just runs. You need to require this script from an actual server side script. So go ahead and press script and it will take you here. So as you can see, there's already a print in the script and this happens with every single script you open. It will always have print hello world. Now, what will happen if we run the game? Well, you can probably already guess, in the output, it's gonna go ahead and print hello world. And that's simply how you make prints. Now, let me go ahead and show you how to type out the print. So I'll delete this one. And all you have to do is type in print. You can press enter or you can type in the full thing. But if you press enter, it will open these speech marks as well. If you wanna print out what word, you need to make sure you put it in apostrophes because if you don't put it in apostrophes, it will most likely mess up unless you're using numbers. So go ahead and put in an apostrophe. And as you can see, you got two right here. And inside the two is where you can type whatever you want. So if I go ahead and type subscribe to just Kenzo, as you saw before when it printed hello world, it's gonna go ahead and print subscribe to just Kenzo. 
And right there, it says subscribe to Just Kenzo. So you can print any word you want as long as it's in the apostrophes. Now say for example, you want to print numbers. With numbers, you do not put it in apostrophes. You just simply just type in the number that you want to print like this. And once you type it out, if you run the game again, it's just going to print the numbers. And as you can see right here, it prints the numbers. Also, if you want to do some maths in your script, you can do that as well. So if you go ahead and type two plus two, guess what it's going to print? It's going to print four. In the output, you can see it prints four because two plus two equals four. You can also print if something is true or false. So if you just go ahead and type in true and run it, you can see in the output, it will say true. And if you want to print false, you can just type in false. And in the output, as you can guess, it will print false. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is explain what each of these are. So as we first started out with the apostrophes, these are called string values. String values is pretty much anything that consists of words, numbers, anything like that, as long as it's in the apostrophes. You cannot do two plus two in a string value because it's like a sentence. So if I, if I was to type two plus two, it's going to just print two plus two because the script is running it as a sentence. It's not running it as a calculation. It's running it as a sentence. So as you can see in the output, it prints two plus two. Now the numbers without the apostrophes, these are called number values or int values. Whatever you want, they're pretty much the same thing. There's a slight difference, but I will not go into that in this video. These are number values. You can do calculations with number values and you can only print numbers. If I was to print subscribe, you can already see it underlines it in red and nothing will print. We're just going to get nil in the output because the script reads it as nothing's in between the brackets. So that's why whenever you want to print a string value, make sure you put the apostrophes either side of the words and now lastly false and true these are called booleans booleans are pretty much used if something is true like two plus two equals four that's true and it will print true so later on in this series i will start talking about if statements and how you can use if statements and print statements together effectively so with booleans you can only use true and false nothing else you don't have to use the apostrophes because if you were to use the apostrophes guess what it will turn it to a string value like this and it won't be orange anymore because now it's a string value instead of a boolean so everything i've just explained is everything you need to know about printing i hope this helped you guys out let me know in the comments if it did. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions because I'll be responding to every single comment. The next video, I'll be focusing on variables and what variables are. So make sure you subscribe, turn post notifications on so you do not miss the video. Thanks for watching until the end. Adios.